Hi, I'm Alexa, and welcome to The Leftovers. Activism takes many forms, whether that's boycotting, marching, or simply just spreading the word. Members of the animal rights organization, Anonymous for the Voiceless, have taken to the streets of Northampton to spread awareness about animal cruelty through street activism. We sat down with a member of this group to better understand this type of advocacy. So Anonymous for the Voiceless is an international nonprofit organization that is um, set on spreading awareness to the public about where their food comes from and how that food impacts the lives of others. So we do receive a decent amount of backlash. Um, I would say for the most part, the overwhelming majority of the time, it's really positive. Um, we do have people yell some derogatory things at us, call us names, all of that, but we try to treat them with the same compassion that we're preaching towards um, the animals because humans are animals and we think that all animals deserve kindness and compassion. Um, but with that being said, majority of the time people are super excited that we're there and, and thankful that we're there, which is really nice to see because um, a lot of the times a lot of people have never seen this stuff before and we're just giving them the outlet to uh, learn things for themselves and uh, most of the time they're very appreciative and really shocked too is another big thing. It's a, the shock factor is really big and uh, productive for us and for the animals as well. When I started doing this, I really thought that people were gonna be like, whoa, whoa, this is too intense for me. But it's, I've actually found it's the opposite of that. People want to know where their food comes from and they want to know the process in which it takes to get there. A lot of people don't want to and that's okay, they're just not ready to hear the message yet. But for the most part, the people that are, um, that do want to know about what we're talking about, they come and they stay and they talk and, and a lot of the times they don't make that change that minute or that day or in the next year. But the way that we look at it is if we plant a seed maybe years down the road or days down the road, they decide to make a change into a vegan lifestyle. We spoke with some of our fellow peers to better understand their experience with this type of activism. It uh, depends on how you feel and, um, and emotionally react to animals and their life. I went vegan like a little over a year ago and so far it's been like interesting for me to see how I adapted and I did it for like the environment and for animals um, and not so much for my health. Like with different socio-economic situations a lot of people don't have the ability to be like vegetarian or vegan. It can kind of hurt the cause when you try and like force it on other people who aren't like ready to like start having that as a lifestyle. So I think that can hurt a little bit but I think the intentions are really good. Anonymous for the Voiceless has held over 9,500 demonstrations around the world providing support and help for their bystanders. For more information about this organization, visit their website, anonymousforthevoiceless.org, or take a look at one of their next protests downtown. Thanks for watching.